tomorrow afternoon. Here's a look at our four cameras across the region. Another spectacular way to head into the weekend. Looks like uh, Saturday is going to end up being the rainier of the two days. And because of that, if you're trying to cut the grass tomorrow, I'll just be very transparent tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon, probably not ideal unless you do it very early in the day, then you're going to be fine. Uh, Sunday through Tuesday, though, also looking pretty good as well. So here's the deal. Some showers right now moving into uh, the Coos Bay area. So if you live in Coos County, just heads up. You might get some showers moving into your neighborhood within the next 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes or so. Offshore, though, take a look at this. OK, big old storm system offshore of California. This is actually going to head towards northern California through the day tomorrow. As we wake up tomorrow morning, like I just said, we're completely dry. Tonight we have showers along the coast. By 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, we are completely dry out there. It'll be very similar to today where we just kind of have overcast skies, but things are looking pretty good. As we go towards the afternoon, though, look down to the bottom of your screen. This is going to be the source point of all that moisture that moves up to the north. And look out towards uh, central Oregon where they could have some severe weather tomorrow. That's where all your instability will be. Nonetheless, as we go through the evening hours, the rain continues. As we go further down to the south, rainfall totals will be highest. And then we cut off the faucets by about midnight tomorrow night. By Sunday morning, we have some showers lingering off to our east. This is 830 on Sunday morning. And then as we go towards uh, Sunday afternoon, things are looking pretty dry. So Sunday is looking much better than Saturday uh, based on current data. So take a look at this right now. What we are looking at is upper level spins. You have winds moving in different direction with height. If you're in an airplane, this is going to cause a lot of turbulence, but I'm pointing this out because whenever we see this, I call it a bowling ball in the sky. This is what typically causes instability and instability is a prerequisite for severe weather. So that's going to trigger thunderstorms for parts of the region tomorrow. As we look here at our instability map, this is going to be Saturday in the afternoon. Notice that most of the instability is out towards the Cascades and the foothills. So I'm not really too excited about the threat of storms west of the Cascades. Here's kind of the bullseye, though, Central Oregon for tomorrow. And when we look at the different criteria for the threat, it's mostly going to be lightning, thunder and hail uh, that I'm most concerned about going into tomorrow. Tonight, though, we drop down to the 40s. It'll be comfortable when you wake up tomorrow morning. And then as we go towards the next week or so, we are looking at marvelous weather returning for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday as high pressure takes command. Temperatures, though, will be pretty steady in the 60s this weekend. And then we're looking at the upper 70s for Thursday and Friday, possibly knocking on the door of near 80 degrees. Across the Cascade Passes, we'll keep a passing shower in the forecast on Sunday. For more or less, all of next week, though, is looking pretty dry. So that's good news, especially if you do have to travel out to Central Oregon. We go from the mid-60s, and then we start kind of tiptoeing into the 50s, and then we're back to the 60s, mid-70s, and then almost near 80 by Friday of next week. It gets very warm about a week out from today. Alrighty, well, he may have been, uh, might have hit a few obstacles trying to access this trail in the winter, but meteorologist Holden LaCroix finally made it to one of his favorite viewpoints in the state of Oregon. In this week's installment of Holden's Hikes, he's bringing us along for a snowshoe adventure at a spot you might recognize from earlier this season. 